The request response life cycle is actually a tricky one when you look at it. The big scope of what's going on here seems overly complex, but when you break it down by the pieces, it makes more sense. We have an incoming request that hits our servlet front controller, just our dispatcher servlet inside of Spring. So that hands the request over to and delegates it to one of our controllers that we've set up. The dispatcher is the router that comes in and says what controller is going to handle it. I'm going to delegate this request over here to this controller. That controller just routes traffic to where it's supposed to go. It says I'm going to handle the request and hand it over to the back end. Our back end could be composed of web services or a database, multiple databases, any number of things that we're gathering data from. And in turn, what that does is it hands back a model to us. The model is basically just our data that we're trying to represent on our screen or through a service. Once that gets back to our controller, the controller says, okay, I'm going to let somebody else do the rendering. So it packages that model up and hands it back to our front controller to do the rendering. Now the rendering is separate from business logic. So we have this model view controller design pattern. Everything it's doing its own specified functionality here. Coming back from the controller, we have a model now or data that we're going to try and represent the UI. We go back to our front controller and it says, oh, well, who's going to handle this? Who's going to render this response? We pass that down to some view template and for this course, we're going to use JSPs for one of our views, but we could use FreeMarker or Velocity or any number of different technologies that integrate nicely with Spring MVC. Once it's gone down to our view, our JSP page, we're going to return control back to our front controller. And then that returns back to our browser or through our web service call. Now this whole thing is kind of divided up into three parts. We have our model, so where our model gets created, our view, and our representing view, and then our controller. It's what is our model view controller design pattern. We're going to walk through all of these pieces throughout our entire application.